What's going on everybody? It's your boy Null Assassin. This is the fifth video in my Black Ops 3 beta gameplay mini series that I've been doing leading up to the full release on November the 6th. If you haven't checked out the other previous four videos in this series, head on over to my channel and take a look at those as well. They're all under a playlist so you can just set them in motion from the first one and watch them all together. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'll have a ton of great content coming up for you guys as we get the full release out and helpful videos for the community uh, when the game officially drops. For this fifth video, I'm going to talk about the various guns and specialists we got to see in the beta as well as some of the items that have been confirmed since the beta was finished. I'm not going to go through each and every single gun that, as it would need some serious gameplay video and I don't want to waste your guys' time with that. Instead, I'm just going to run through the items uh, and give you my thoughts on what I used in the beta what I usually use for setups and what I expect when the game comes out. Obviously this video will be good to look back on once the game is out to see how comparisons can be made from what we had versus what we are now going to be getting. During the beta I was actually surprised at how much Treyarch gave us in terms of weapons, specialists, attachments, and everything else. It really gave us a great insight into what we could expect with the full release. I also thought it was the best way for them to go. With all the usage it gave them almost two months worth of time to sift through the data and review and find out what guns were really overpowered, what guns needed to be balanced out a little bit, uh, some things that needed to be buffed up, you know, to bring them up to scale, and what the community really enjoyed using. If you have watched any of my other COD content over the years, I am not a user of shotguns or sniper rifles unless I'm just kind of messing around. I'm usually a rusher and objective player, so you will more often than not find me using SMGs and assault rifles in many of my gameplays. Uh, during the beta, I was very pleased with the balance that was displayed with the weapons. I uh, saw a variety of every category used and ended up using some guns that I picked up that I maybe otherwise would not have originally chosen, but I ended up actually liking. This shows that the variety is back and that the balance was not compromised. See what I kind of did there with the balance? Sorry, that was my bad attempt at humor uh, using some poor things that happened in AW, so forgive me for that. With the assault rifles, I used the HVK-30, the Manowar, the ARK-7, and the M8A7. If you watched the previous videos in this series, you saw me go to work with the M8A7 and the ARK the most. I really enjoyed the ARK out of all of them, especially if I got as I got rid of the red dot sight and went over to the iron sights. Um, I thought that gun had a lot of power, had a lot of easy use to it, and it's probably going to be my favorite unless I find something else that I can really, really use. I think that each AR had great pros and cons, but the variety of attachments levels them all out for the most part, so I think you're going to find really good balance through most of the assault rifles. For the SMGs, the CUDA and the Razorback were the ones I think I used the most during the beta release. I think the Razorback was a little OP, as many other people had said throughout the beta, and I'll be curious to see how it is set up when the game fully releases. I'm also thrilled to see that we will have useful secondaries back in this game like we did in Black Ops 2. I thought Ghost and AW really didn't embrace the secondary gun usage that much and it was nice to see that we had a very full list of secondaries that we could pick from uh, for this game coming up. So I definitely think I'll use them from time to time but uh, for the most part when I ran the beta there was more primary use with a lot of attachments and some perks instead of using a secondary. But, you know, we'll kind of mix and match and see how things uh, will go. I just like to have the option of going to a secondary, so we'll kind of leave it at that. Uh, as for specialist, I think this was something very innovative that Treyarch did to put a little something extra into the multiplayer experience. In my opinion, they were actually a lot of fun to use, and I actually tried them out at one point just to see how everything was. I'll run through each of them real quick and my thoughts at what we saw. Uh, so to begin with, the first one I believe that we had available, don't quote me on it, but it was Ruin. That included the guy with the gravity spikes where he jumped up really high and came slamming down. I think we saw that in the trailer before the beta actually came out. I tried this one a few times, but more often than not I kind of forgot to use the spikes and I really didn't have much excellent success when I tried to use them. It's really a hit or miss thing because he can easily be shot out of the air just like a thrust jump and you know you really have to be on the spot with people that are standing there in order to make it work uh so i'll put this one as like a, a half and half not really great but not really terrible either uh outrider was the second one a very cool concept with the bow and arrow the arrows seem to have a distant radius for connecting with the enemies and you got a few arrows to use 
The vision pulse as the secondary item, or I guess we'd call the ability, I'd say was my only dislike on this one because it's that typical Oracle type that I hated from Ghost. I really thought we were done with Oracle Oracles, but I guess we're sort of not. I used this one a couple times during the beta and might use it a little bit here and there during the regular release. Uh, Profit was up next. This is the one with the electric beam, I guess you could call it, and in my opinion seemed a bit OP. It seemed to have a huge hit area, and I felt like when I had it shot at me, I was behind some corners or cover, but it was still catching me. I don't really know how, but I guess if it, it's got a radius to it. It reminds me of those beam guns from AW that everyone pretty much hated. Not sure if I'll be using this one at all in the real game. It was a little too slow for me, and I'd rather use something else. Uh, battery was up next. The War Machine Carrying, aka YouTube Specialist, is what I'm calling it. When I saw this one kill me i knew the type of player behind it it was either somebody who was trolling or camping either way i'm not a fan of this one and would hate myself if i ended up playing with this one needless to say probably won't be in any of my setups in the real game uh, seraph was next i actually like this one a lot the one shot beast pistol was pretty useful the sight on the gun was pretty sweet and it gave a pretty broad hit area that did a lot of work. Uh, I also like the combat focus that you could add on to it that created a score multiplier that helped out with skills, uh, score streaks. I saw a lot of people using this one during the beta and I expect to see it used a ton when the game fully comes out. So definitely keep an eye out for this one. It'll probably be in some of my setups. Uh, Nomad, this one, I have to say, it kind of made me laugh at times and it also made me really mad at times. I hated walking into one of those hive pods because they're so hard to see on the ground. It's almost like walking over an IED and Ghost. Once you're on it, there's really no getting out of it. If you want to guard something like a Dom flag, I think it gives you three shots, so I guess this is a good way to kind of fend some people off. They can be removed by shooting them, so it's not permanent that you're going to get kills with this thing. The only part of Nomad that I really hated was the Rejack. Um, I'm not a fan of Second Chance at all. I really hated it in the original Black Ops. I'm thrilled they didn't put it in the second Black Ops. But apparently they're going to bring it back in this one now and give people a chance to live a second time. Uh, I've always been a, f a proponent of if you can't live through your first life, why should you be given a revive in that same spot? Uh, as a fast place player, somebody who rushes, somebody gets into the action, the last thing I want to do is stop and wait to see if you're going to respawn yourself right on the spot. I heard they nerfed this thing down a little bit if after the beta, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Uh, Reaper is the next one. It's probably the one I use the most. Wasn't always successful with it, but when I got in line with the minigun rounds, uh, people were dropping like crazy. I do like the specialist uh, just as they are. The you know, sorry, let me say that again. I do like that specialists are just as easy killed as normal persons as in most cases. It doesn't really make the specialist OP. So the Reaper was one that I felt like I got taken out pretty easily with. So. You know, it's half and half. The final two were Spectre and Firebreak. I know Firebreak wasn't in the beta, but we saw the flame throwing, the montage, and so forth as they got talked about a little bit more by Treyarch. And Spectre was released late in the beta. I didn't get a chance to use it. I know it's got blades, so it's kind of like a melee thing, but didn't really get to use this one, so I'm sure we'll get to test them out during the season. Overall, I think the beta provided a lot of interesting combinations, and there is a ton of things to mix and match. I thought the specialists were creatively added and not made completely OP, which is fabulous. I don't think anyone should really base their games on depending on a certain specialist by being obtained in the game. I still believe that gun skill and tactics to really make you a good player, but I'm sure specialists will become part of the success that you have. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short run through. I'll have a ton more when the game actually comes out where we can really dive into these type items and you know match them up with the others, you know, with the actual stats that the game are showing. Uh, the gameplay in the background will be wrapping up pretty shortly, and I'll have plenty more videos on the way. Subscribe to keep up with the videos when they do drop, and leave me some comments if you like. I always love interacting with the community, and I'll be sure to write you back. Thanks again, everyone, for dropping by. Have an awesome day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Losing A. Securing Charlie. Securing Bravo. Midway fuel check complete. We're being dominated. Go on the offensive. Be locked down. C secure. Counter UAV power levels low. RTB. Seraph neutralized. Ready. Be advised. 
Hostile rolling thunder inbound. UAV inbound. Hearing Alpha. Losing B. Lost Bravo. Friendly HCXD inbound. Securing Alpha. A secure. Confirm. Good job, CDP. Mission reassignments inbound. Incrementing wind count. 